ब्रह्मनाथ ओ of this 
why we have kept that window open and she pointed out she pointed out towards a large french window which was wide open and next to that was a lawn so knowingly she pointed out towards the window and she started her narration and she put a question in mr nuttles mind to think that why this window is open in an october afternoon it is quite warm for the time of the year said frampton but has that window got anything to do with the tragedy so mr nuttles is answering the niece or the young girl viva he say
magic for Mr. Nuttall to hear and to believe because she wants Mr. Nuttall to believe the lies, the prank, the joke that she's playing now with Mr. Nuttall. And so she's making it real and so she adds, she says that it's not the most dreadful or the fearful part of it is that we never recovered their bodies. Here the child's voice lost its self-possessed note and became frantically human. So here you can see that I have written the word. Uh, felteringly means in broken voice, you know. Uh, felteringly, broken voice. When we talk about an incident that uh, is quite low, a tragic moment, an incident which is filled with grief and sorrow, we don't smile, we don't speak rapidly, we have a distinct voice or a broken voice or when we are narrating a lie, okay, when we are asked by parents, why were you late and we are saying a lie to our parents, we don't very clearly in a bold voice speak up, we try to take our eyes off from their eyes, we don't have eye contact as well as we try to speak up in broken voice. So that's what she was also doing. She means so the young girl. Now as she was narrating a tragic story about her aunt Mrs. Sapperton that her husband and two brothers had been for night shooting. They went to this marsh hidden danger and the three years have passed away. They never returned back. We never recovered their bodies and that's the reason why the window is kept open because they had gone through this window three years back as she's narrating. So she has to have that tone, that mood of speaking, that sadness in her voice, okay, that uh, uh, faltering or a broken voice so that the listener, and who's the listener? Mr. Frampton Nuttall. He really believes the lie that she is saying. Here the child's voice lost its self-possessed note and became felteringly human. Poor aunt always thinks that they will come back someday. So they and the little brown spaniel that was lost with them and walk in at that window just as they used to do. So she's saying, my aunt, she strongly believes and who's her aunt? Mrs. Sappleton. She says that Mrs. Sappleton strongly believes and that's the reason why she keeps the window open. That's the reason and she strongly believes that one day her husband, her two brothers and Spaniel, Spaniel the brown, uh, that's dog, okay, had also gone along with them. She adds to it and she says all will return back to the same window as they had gone three years back. And that's the reason why she keeps the window open because she feels, strongly feels, my poor aunt feels that they are going to return back to the same window one day. That is why the window is kept open every evening till it is quite dusk. Okay, dusk when evening slowly advances to night. It's the twin light. Okay, that darkness is called dusk. And so that's the reason why till dusk evening the window is kept open by my aunt because she really feels she has a belief that they will come back to this window. Poor dear aunt, she has often told me how they went out. Her husband with his white waterproof coat over his arm and Ronnie, her youngest brother, singing, Bertie, why do you bow? So she doesn't only pause there, she further tries to make it little more real and she says that my aunt she used to tell me, you know, she often told me that when her husband and her two brothers they left. 
called to get on the nerves or got on her nerves. Here the song sang by her younger brother Roni. Her younger brother used to always sing, Bertie, why do you bow? And Mrs. Sappleton used to get irritated because that used to disturb her. She never enjoyed it. She never liked it. And her younger brother used to sing that quite often. So do you know sometimes on still quiet evenings like this, I almost get a creepy feeling. Creepy means gloomy, okay? Gloomy feeling that they will all walk in through that window. Further she says that even I have a gloomy feeling, I have a creepy feeling, you know. Who said this? The young girl Vega is saying this to Mr. Nuttall. That even I have a feeling. I have a creepy or a gloomy, gloomy feeling that one day, one evening, for sure, uh, Mr. Sappleton and Mrs. Sappleton's two brothers, the long with Spaniel, would really come back. She broke off with a little shudder. Shudder means shake, okay? Because she was narrating a tragic story about her uncles and so she had to catch that emotion. She had to bring up that emotion, sentiment on her face, in her eyes, in her tone and make Mr. Nutter feel that is real. And so she uh, broke up with a little shudder means shake. She started shaking a little. It was a relief to Frampton when the aunt bustled. Bustle here means moved busily. So now when this was over by this time. Mrs. Sappleton was inside the house but not present in the drawing room when Weera the young girl was narrating this tragic story about her. She moved in busy. She came to the picture, into the room with a vril of apologies. Vril means actually a rapid movement round and round. Okay, She had a long